Okay, so we're in the second part of our How to Model Bender in Cinema 4D tutorial series. This is where we left off. We just finished modeling the head and all its uh, details. We're now going to go and model the body, which is probably the easiest section of this entire series. So, we're going to start off with our mesh we used for the head. Go to Edge Mode, let's get to a rectangular selection and select uh, these edges and again make sure that only select visible elements is not ticked otherwise your selection will only be on this side of the mesh. Let's do a neat little trick. Uh, hold control and drag this down and we make an extrusion that way instead of right clicking extrude. Let's say uh, hit T to bring up the scale and scale this outward. I'm lining it up with uh, where this corner is here. I'm using the left side as well, not the right side. Just uh, maybe make it a little larger though. You probably have a much better reference image than this. But uh, I was lazy, so this will have to do. And again, just uh, bring that in to about here. So you want it to sort of taper in. But uh, don't overdo the taper. Uh, it may not look right. Okay. So we now want to um, add in some geometry for the hatch because we have the basic shape of the body. Let's say uh, go in and add this hatch or this door and then also the little handle in front of it. So for this, we're just going to make um, two cuts. So get your knife tool out, right click and knife, or you can press M followed by K. And that will also get you the knife tool. So at the top here, I'm just going to make a cut uh, around about here. And then uh, you can just try eye this up. And then uh, at the bottom, with the sort of same distance from the edge as is here and here, I can do the same. Again, just tying this up. You can be more precise if you wish. And then I'm going to go to Life Selection. Only Select Visible Elements is ticked this time. I don't want to go through to the other side. And here I will select four polygons at the side of the center line, which is directly here. I know this because when I was using 16 uh, segments all the way around, I selected two either side. And now we have double this number of segments, so it's four and four. But this could be different for you depending on how many segments you're using. But uh, you basically want to get something that looks about this large. Just a little wider than the head. Okay. And here we're going to split away this section. So right click and split. It's off screen right now because I don't have enough space here. But if I go to mesh, commands and split, I can find it there too. What this does is it instances your selection, but also retains the original selection. So if I hit delete, I get rid of the original selection. And then now in a separate object is an instance of that selection. And that's what we split away, basically. Okay, I'm going to label this, the first one as body, and the second one as hatch. Now if I make the hatch a child of the body, I can make the hypernerves affect both of them. And if I enable my grow shading lines again, or display grow shading lines, you can see a little bit clearer where everything is. Uh, you can see this curve right here. This is where the hatch is going to be, and it's way too steep as it goes out. It's okay when it's coming in, but by the time it uh, makes the full corner, it's too soft. And I basically want to add more geometry to this to limit hypernerves which is the second way of limiting hypernerves. So far we've only been dealing with um, weighting. And weighting was appropriate for what we we're doing, but for this we definitely just need to add more segments. So let's just make a cut about here, and then the same down here. And now when I enable hypernerves, I can go in again and take a look, and you can see this uh, curve is a uh, the same radius on the way in on the same radius on the way out before it was much larger going out and uh, 
this is great. Another problem now we're having is that Hypernerves is smoothing this off uh, way too much. And you could go make some cuts if you want, but uh, for this, I think that Hypernerves waiting is more appropriate. So if we go to edge mode, we'll get loop selection, U followed by L, and let's uh, select that loop and this one right here. Let's enable Hypernerves so we get a nice live update as we add the weight. So again, just hold the period key on your keyboard, left mouse and hold and drag to the right side to add weight or to the left to remove the weight. We want to add it all the way. If I uh, press N followed by A, I can go back to growth shading with no lines. And you can see that this is still somewhat curved and Cinema 4D is trying hard to smooth this surface off so you don't get sharp edges, which can be a good thing in some in some areas, but here we want it to be nice distinct edges. So if we go to the phone tag, both of these, we can put the angle limit to something like 25, and that will give us a nice sharp edge. We also wanna close up the bottom of this, so let's go to the body and select this, uh, this loop at the bottom. And then we're going to do what's called a zero extrude. If I right click extrude with an offset of zero, I'm going to hit apply. And what this does is nothing, or at least it looks that way. But um, it gives you a set of new lines or new points or new polygons, depending on what you had selected prior to this. And uh, what that allows you to do then is to scale them in like this. And uh, if you want to close that up completely, you don't just carry on scaling in because you still always have a hole. You want to right click and weld and just uh, hit a point in the middle and that will close up like that. And again, we just have to go in here and add another weight tag. And there we go. Looking pretty good. And that's the basic shape of the body. One little detail we have to add is this sort of the hatch handle so let's uh, get a sphere give it a radius of maybe seven I know this from memory I'm not just pulling this out of thin air but uh, let's place it roughly in the correct position uh, I can actually tell that this needs to be way in my edge is right here so if I go to the perspective view, I can bring this out. And uh, around about here looks pretty good, maybe further up though. So it's more centered to all of this pretty much. Okay, you can uh, stylize this little handle however you want. I'm gonna keep it simple. Give it maybe just 16 segments or so. And if I hit NB, I have the hatch and the body finished. Now, if I render, you can see there's not much of a distinction between the hatch and uh, the body. We can see a little bit of an edge, but that's not much. We will be addressing this when we go around finalizing all the little details. But that's it for this section. I will see you in the next section where we finish off the modeling with the arms and the legs.